It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got a duel in the Lone Star State. It's the Vikes and the Cowboys coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Minnesota Vikings. Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. CD, you look at the Vikings coming into play. Their offense is one that doesn't rely too heavily on just one guy. They like to spread things around as best they can. You're right about that as a diverse unit, and they like to run their offense by what they call game plan, meaning each and every week they study the opponent, they probe its weaknesses, and they move the ball around that way. They emphasize who's going to get it based on what they think they'll accomplish in that game. Other teams, they're a system team. They're going to run what they run no matter what. I like this style of offense. It suits them well. will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it. It gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A play fake. Now Cunningham. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. So here come the Cowboys out of the field with excellent position to get things started. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy springs for the good stuff. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Three yards the gain there, second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. 
And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Over the middle, Dorsett. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So the completion good for seven there, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does you points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He'll look to shake off the interception on the opening drive. He should at least be comforted that it resulted in three, not six. And if I were him, I would be the guy all the way out on the field greeting my defense now, saying thanks a lot. He held them to a field goal after I turned it over. That's a big defensive stand for them. He needs to go out now and make up for what he did on the first drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his throw is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here's second and ten. And off comes to Peterson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Now Cunningham. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. give this is Dorsett and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here second down I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker what that means is his ability to read react and make a play but on that one he looked like one of those guys the last run good for two here second and eight 
They'll look to throw here. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. They'll set up to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Pearson. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of all of throws. Yeah, right now you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Back to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Three yards the game there, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Well, he's looking long for Wooden, and he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. 44 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Remember the one-dimensional tight ends who just put their hand in the ground and block people? Well, if you're that guy now, you're probably a fullback in an I-formation offense. These tight ends nowadays can do everything. Block, run, and catch. Beautiful connection for a touchdown. Now the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that drive spell five plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Vikings head out to take over once again. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. A quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play car, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? That's complete to Justin Jefferson. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, 69 yards. And the Vikings are able to make this a close game again. 
But Justin Jefferson coming off such a sensational rookie year. He wows him again here with big yardage after the catch. And that should serve as a big warning to this defense. They know now that they have to stick close to these receivers because they have the ability to break games wide open after the catch. And that one wound up in the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is down to a field goal. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And not a whole lot doing there, so get it up to about the 28-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. 10-7, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. throw and that is incomplete well they came up with points in their first two possessions but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive the defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? They start the drive with Peterson. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Well, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. 
They give it to Peterson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Cunningham. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Off play action, it's Cunningham. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. That catch good for only a couple. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. On second down now. It's Peterson, and he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 34. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And Peterson, what happened? He lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And they hand it off to Dorsett. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Second and nine now. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he may have dumped that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Whoa. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 16. He'll drop to throw. Going up top. And this one is incomplete. 
thus far they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game almost felt like they said in the huddle can you guys pass protect let's take a big shot downfield didn't get it on that one but they may come back to it again out now comes the Cowboys punter as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across go, midfield. Go, go. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. For the football going back to the Vikings offense. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance, and to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? On first down, it's Cunningham. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. Pass for 20! Touchdown, Vikings! A big play there! 53 yards, and the Vikings have taken the lead. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field, but if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and so just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 14 to 10. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line let's of the go. end zone for let's a touchback. Go. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. He'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Touchdown, Cowboys! A great effort there. 47 yards. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. The try here for the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. 
So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Down. Here's Harvin. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you worked on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. First down now, but that clock rolling. Out of the gun here, it's Cunningham. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The Cunningham's throw taken in by Moss. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Six yards left on second down. Cunningham. Doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Cunningham looking to throw. Trying to lay one up deep. And unable to connect, incomplete. Give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, their first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And that is no good. And 
this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Dorsett making the catch. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Second and five. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Cowboys gonna use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. He'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They'll look to throw again. Dorsett's got it. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. And his kick here is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Here's Harvin. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. out in front as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Vikings in that first half. And I can imagine the halftime discussions are a